Hello, my name is Kishwani. That's K E S H W A N I, Kishwani. We are here because we want to prepare for the GRE. We have been solving GRE math problems out of this book here, the official guide to the revised GRE, the second edition. If you do not own this book already, purchase one immediately. You're going to need it. Today I will continue with the topic that we've been doing for the last few days, which is the topic of weighted average. The problem that we'll do today, as you can see, it's already on the blackboard, is the same problem that you will find on page number 159, number 13. Turn to page 159, take a look at problem number 13. It's important that you have the book in front of you so that you can follow the work. Problem says the table below, the table that you see here, represents the frequency distribution of the values of the variable x. Here are the values of the variable x. Of course, it simply is what is the mean of the distribution? What is the mean of this frequency distribution? And we are told to ask to give our answer to the nearest point zero one. In other words, they ask us to give the answer to the nearest tenth. They don't say that, but this is what that, that's what it means. Let's, let's get going, shall we? Let's get going. But the first one is very simple. If half appears two times, but two times half, two times half, of course, is just one. There is nothing to it. Two times half is just one. How about three quarters times seven? Three quarter value of three quarter appears seven times. Three quarters times seven is a tricky to do. Well, we'll, we'll deal with it. We'll make it friendly. Seven is not friendly because you have to divide by four. Let's make it friendly. Let's, let's, let's write this three quarter times seven as, we can write out seven as eight plus one. Oh, sorry, eight minus one. Eight minus one is seven. Eight minus one. Okay, watch what happens. Three quarter, three quarters times eight. I hope you are able to see that this four will cancel out this eight, will give us two. You see, three quarters times eight, the four is cancelled out with eight, we're going to get two, and it's three times two, which is six. What does six? Six represents? Six represents eight three quarters. As you can see, eight three quarters, eight three quarters are six. Three quarter times eight, eight cancel out with four, we get a two, two times three, six. We don't need eight three quarters, we are we are asked to have seven, we are we are given seven three quarters. We are given seven three quarters, we are not given eight three quarters, seven, which is why we have a minus one here. We need to subtract one three one three quarter. Let's subtract one three quarter. Now this answer is correct. Three quarters times seven is six minus three quarters. Just leave it like this. Don't worry about it, just leave it like this. Let's move on. The next one is also very easy. We have five quarters times eight. Five quarters times eight. Five quarters times eight is same as before. Four is going to cancel out with the eight. We're going to get two. And it's five times two, which is simply ten. Are you with me? The one after that is also very straightforward. It's two and eight. We can we can we can both deal with it very easily. So this is going to be three halves times eight. Eight is going to cancel out with two with a four. And we're going to end up with 3 times 4, which is a 12. The last one, we're going, to, we're going to do the same trick that we did here, except instead of 8 minus 1 here, we're going to have 8 plus 1. So we're going to write our 9 as, so we have 7 fourth times 8 plus 1. And now, as you can see, 7 fourth times 8, we can deal with that very easily. 4 is going to cancel out with the 8. And we're going to end up with 7 times 2, which is 14. Now, what does this 14 represent? This 14 represents 8 7 quarters. For this 14 represents 8 7 quarters. We don't have 8 7 quarters. We have 9 7 quarters, which is why it's 8 plus 1. We have a 9 7 quarters. We, we, broke, we broke our 9 7 quarters into... We broke this our 9 7 quarters into 8 plus 1. Just like we had done here before, we had taken our 7 and we had written it as 8 minus 1. So we need one more 7 quarters. We have 8 7 quarters, we need one more. So let's add one more 7 quarters. Let's add one more 7 quarters. Watch what happens. Well, we are done. Okay? Negative 3 quarters and a positive 7 quarters. What do you suppose it's going to give us? Negative 3 quarters and positive 7 quarters is going to give us 4 quarters. Positive 7 and negative 3 is 4. We're going to get 4 quarters. 4 quarters are 1. So when we start adding them, 
negative three quarters and, and, and a positive seven quarters is going to give it one. We're going to carry that one over here. And now we're done with this part. You understand? Now what we do is add them up. So let's get going. Shall we? I see a four and a six, that's a ten. Plus two is twelve. Twelve plus two is fourteen. I get fourteen. Four. Carry one again. One, two, three, four. We get forty-four. So it looks like the, the sum of all the x's is even 44. It's exactly 44. The question is, how many observations do we have? We have, to, we have to divide this total. We have to divide this total by the number of observations, which we have to figure out here. Let's do it. Let's see if we can see anything here. I don't see anything useful here. Actually, I do see something. You see, 7 plus 2 is 9. 9 plus 9 is 18. 18 plus 16. 18 plus 16. Now you stay with me, okay? 8 plus 8 is 16. 7 plus 2 is 9. 9 plus a 9 is 18. 18 plus 16. 16 plus 16 is 30, 32. Therefore, 16 plus 18 should be 34. One. All set? All we have to do is divide our sum, which is 44, by 34. We'll have the answer. Let's do that on the top. Actually, let's not do that on the top. I want to save the top. Or can we do it? I left no room at all. Just squeeze it right here. 44 divided by 34 equals 44 divided by 34 equals 1 and 10 34. Are you still with me? 1 and 10 34. When you reduce it, 10 is going to become 5 and 34 is going to become 7. 3 has 1 7, the remaining one goes and joins the 4, becomes 14, and 14 has 7. 3 has, 3 has 1 2, we are dividing top and bottom by 2. 3 has 1 2, after we take away 2 from the 3, let's do it properly. It's very easy to say that when you divide 10 by 2, we get 5. We want to divide, since we divide the top by 2, we have to divide the bottom by 2. 3 has 1 2, 3 has 1 2. After we take away 2 from the 3, we have a remainder of 1. 1 goes into a 4, becomes 14, and 14 has 7 2's. So it becomes, it becomes 1 and 5 17. Okay, pay attention. We are almost done. Now we have to divide 5 by 17. We have to divide 5 by 17. I'm going to show you here. We have to divide 5 by 17. Well, we can divide 5 by 17. 5 is 2 puny, so we'll put our decimal. And it becomes 51. Uh, it becomes 50. It becomes 50. Okay. Watch what happens. It becomes 50. Are you able to see? Are you able to see that instead of 50, had it been 51, instead of 50, had it been 51, it would have been exactly 3. It would have been exactly 3. 17 times 3 is 51. How do we know that 17 times 3 is 51? It's very simple. 17 times 3. Break it up in your mind as 10 and 7. 3, ti 3 times 10 is 30, and 3 times 7 is 21. 3 tens are 30, and, and, and 3 sevens are 21. 30 plus 21 is 51. Had it been 51, it would have been exactly 0 0.3. Because it is 50, because it is 50, this quantity is going to be approximately, approximately 2.29. Because what's going to happen is that you do it two times, you're going to get 34, and you're going to have a remainder of 6. You would set a zero there, and you calculate it, 160, 160 is only 10 less than, 160, 10 times 17 is 170, we have 160, 160 is only 10 less than 170, one more time, 160 is only 10 less than 170, that tells us that we have enough in this 160 to go 9 rounds, of course we can go right now, 9 rounds, because we just said it before, had it been 51, the answer would have been exactly 0.3, because it is 50, it's going to be 0.29. And since they only want it up to two digits, we have done it. The answer is 0.29. And of course, it's going to continue forever. We're not worried about that. That's the answer. 0.29 is the answer. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Bye now.